What's up guys, TJ here. Uh, thanks so much for stopping in. Uh, today is kind of a special video because we've got something a little bit different than we normally uh, are looking at down here. So we're gonna be taking a look at a, a drum sample library from Dave Otero, a drum shots library that was recently captured at a recording session um, that just wrapped recently. Um, and what's great about this sample library um, that kind of differs from some of the other ones that you may have you know, come across um, is that you know not only are there multiple drums for you to kind of experiment with um, there's also multiple sources of each drum so um, in this pack for example we're going to be taking a look at four different snare drums um, each snare drum is going to have a dry signal a wet signal a super compressed so you get an extra crack um, signal as well as a full mixed and blended sample so um, you know, these are full velocity samples, so they're intended for backbeats. Again, they came from a metal session, so we're really hitting drums hard, and you know, that is what uh, these samples are kind of intended to help with. So if we're going for gushy low mid-tone snares on a kind of an indie ballad, these may not be the right tones for you. However, if you're someone like me, um, I hit the drums. I love to hit hard. Um, I'm, I'm a rock, pop, and alt rock type drummer so uh, these samples are right up my alley uh, especially for the different types of drum sounds and snare tones especially that I go for um, so I'm really excited to check those out so beyond the snares we also get three different kick drums and it's the same kind of ideal you're gonna get a dry signal a super compressed very attack heavy signal uh, as well as a fully blended and mixed sample so um, What's great about having those varieties is that you can use a sample replace plugin like Trigger from Slate, um, and you can take all of those instances and blend them into one um, kind of plugin spot that'll fire all of those at the same time on top of your dry signal that you're feeding into that plugin, and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, so traditionally, there are a couple of different ways that you can utilize these samples. One, um, kind of the easier, and I would kind of say, quote unquote, kind of lazy, is just to, to pull them out of your finder window, dump them into a session, and actually manually line them up with your transients in your tracks. Um, now, don't get me wrong. I know I said lazy, and that's just me being me. Uh, it's a perfectly fine way to, to, to utilize samples. If you don't want to spend the money on a sample replacement plugin um, or, you know, um, any other avenues that you would like to integrate your samples. The reason why I'm not necessarily the biggest fan is that it's a very, very meticulous process where you have to go in and make sure every single beat is perfectly lined up. All of the transients are 100% together. Otherwise, you're going to get flaming. You're, you're going to run into phase issues. Um, there could be a lot of problems with, with approaching it that way. Uh, so let's dive in here and take a look at these samples. Again, we're looking at uh, three different kick samples. Um, there's four different snare samples of different tunings and uh, vibes, things like that. Um, additionally, there's uh, some tom hits from the, the library as well, so we'll see if we can't try to integrate some of those as well um, and see what we get. So, let's do it.
Okay, that's going to wrap it up. Thanks so much for stopping in and checking this out. Um, I hope you were able to get something out of this that kind of demonstrates how, you know, utilizing tools like this and different sample libraries, different options like that can really help um, enhance some of the things that we're getting in our own home studios. They're incredibly versatile and powerful tools um, that can really, really take things from you know, a seven or an eight to a hundred. And um, again, I've, I've been a big fan of sample libraries for a long time. I use them a lot in my productions and in my mixes as well. Uh, so huge thanks to the guys at Drumforge and Joey Sturge's Tones for, um, you know, involving me in this project and um, having a chance to uh, be a part of uh, giving these things a test drive. So please check this library out as well as all of the other products they have going on over there. There's a lot of really great stuff happening. So thanks again for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you have not already, and we will see you on the next one. Cheers. Including me in this um, project here, and let's dive in.